So good morning, it's a beautiful day here in Merceau. It wouldn't be a trip to France for us without visiting a chateau. But today we're going to visit a chateau with a difference. You have to wait and see what that difference is, but having done a bit of research about it, it looks pretty cool. So today's little visit, as I said, we can't come to France without visiting a chateau. We have come to Chateau Sauvigny Le Bon, surrounded by vines, and then apparently there is a hidden surprise in the grounds, and we'll find out what that is very shortly. So what a beautiful place. We just had a little tour of a really nice collection of model aircraft and ships. Come outside into the grounds and then I think we're gonna find one of the surprises that you wouldn't expect to see at a chateau. And if you can see behind me, there appears to be a collection of fighter jets in the grounds. How bizarre. And there's a collection of our Bath sports cars as well up in one of the barns of the chateau is this wonderful collection of our bath sports cars uh, as the poster says a uh, homage to carlo abath not sure if there's a connection between him and the chateau here but uh, there's about a dozen or so our baths of various different derivatives from small 500s tuned up fiat 126s to full-on sports race cars like the one behind me and then further around in the barn there's a collection of motorbikes so there really is something for everybody here so many bikes <laughs> So what a fabulous little collection of sports cars and motorbikes. So we've had the historic part of the Chateau outbuildings, then we had a collection of models, well, then we moved on to the Our Bath collection, well, then we moved on to some motorbikes, and now we've got some space rockets. Just crazy. So we're in another building now which has got a display of even more aeronautical items, some jet engines, some cockpits and then quite bizarrely just around the corner we have two horse-drawn funeral hearses parked next to a jet engine. The chateau that just keeps on giving. And then part just to the right of the chateau, I don't know if you can see behind me, is the collection of fighter jets. The boys have already rushed down there, but let's go and have a look around. You hear a lot about these chateaus all over France, which are really struggling to survive and have to diversify to ensure they, they get an income to support themselves. But in all the years that we've been traveling to France and many, many chateaus that we've visit, visited, if you followed this channel, you'll know that uh, we do like a chateau visit. I've never seen one that's as, as diverse as this with so much to offer and yet in such a beautiful rural 
tranquil spot, but it's just, it's fabulous. Really, really good, really good value entry. Uh, entrance in for all of us was around about 25 euros. And there's just something for everyone. So the boys have obviously loved seeing the jets and on the racing cars and the motorbikes. Claire's enjoyed the old chateau buildings and walking around the vineyards. And me, I've just enjoyed the whole thing. It's brilliant. So heartily recommend it if you're this way. And a real hidden gem as far as I'm concerned. So behind me, there must be forty or fifty different jets and helicopters and bizarre, but a great day out. We seem to have a large collection of the Russian Air Force all lined up here. And now we have a collection of fire engines. And now at the end of our tour of all those varied and eclectic exhibits, we end up at the Great Chateau or the Old Chateau, which I think from the information said was from the 16th century. But uh, we'll go and have a little look around and this is the bit when you visit a chateau that you expect to see. Certainly none of everything that we've seen leading up to this. Once again, one of the great things about having a camper van is being able to get out and enjoy the wonderful scenery that surrounds us in France. And here, bang in the Burgundy region, surrounded by all these vines, just me, the van, and the rest of the family. Wonderful. So Merso as a town is just one of many, many small towns and villages throughout the Burgundy region, all specialising in producing wine grown in the local vineyards. And just walking from the campsite down into Merso itself, I'll just show you some of the sites and locations. It's not a big town, it's probably as a population, I don't know, just a few thousand, but there are many caves or cavo that you can go in and try from the local producers and buy by the bottle, by the case, by the trailer load if you came equipped.
all the buildings in the beautiful honey coloured stone and these towns are all really old sort of medieval based so not designed for racing through at high speed in a car which again just adds to the character of these places that's so appealing when you come to visit them plenty of stunning houses and mini chateaus so as with all French towns and villages they revolve around the central square so we've got beautiful Marie the town hall just behind me fountain church just a really pleasant place especially in the glorious sunshine on a Saturday afternoon so we've really enjoyed our short stay here in Merso in the Burgundy region um, only been here for three nights uh, this is our second visit here and no doubt we'll be back again in the future it really is um, one of those places that there's lots and lots to see given the opportunity to travel around and uh, we always use it as a stopping point on the way down and on the way back so it's one of those places that um, if given the opportunity to spend a bit more time I'm sure we would so I really hope you've enjoyed this video remember if you have please remember to click the button to like and subscribe and follow us on our camper van journey Thank you.